it's me, it's Ann. I'm back. How are you? I wanted to do something fairly simple today, which is why I've already got my makeup on. If you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It's hard to tell with my, my screen monitor. Um, it's very, very, very subtle. And that's one of the points I want to make. Subtle. And there is a difference between neutral and subtle. Now, being a person of a certain age, we face the issue of current fashion saying that people of a certain age should be wearing more neutrals, less intense color, that kind of thing. And I prefer to tell people who espouse that particular thought pattern to go suck an egg. But <clears throat> some of us do like subtle. Not me that often, but subtle. And there is a difference. If you've got somebody aiming you towards neutral, you don't have to do just beige and brown. I mean, Neutral. 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 Beige and brown are fine. They're not bad. And you can sometimes find a palette that has a lot of beige and brown in it, but also has some color. Now, you wouldn't be able to use all of these if you're trying to do subtle. Because some of these colors are not going to go on subtle, even with a small touch. That is not subtle. However, that's subtle. That would go with beige and brown if you just want to do a pop of color to stay subtle. You don't have to give up color just because maybe you're going to a business meeting, you want to tone it down a little. You don't have to go beige and brown. Matter of fact, I'm using cream eyeshadow because today I've just got on my moisturizer and a little concealer here and there. And then I use some cream products. And I've got a cream. This one is called Nude Linen. It's just your basic beigey brown that I've got on most of my eyelid. I've got this on the inner corner and then spread out just a little bit. And then I've got this as the eyeliner and the darker color in the corner. It's all creams. I've got on a cream highlighter, cream 
blush and a cream bronzer. Because I just put them over lightly, over my moisturizer, and I covered up the worst of the bumps and spots with a little concealer. Subtle. You don't have to go completely colorless to be a toned down look. You can keep your colors. I mean, this is the lip product I have on. It's very sheer. It's just got a little shine to it. Just a little. But it's subtle. Yes, it's got a little bit of glitter to it even. But it doesn't stand out like some of the other stuff I have been known to use. I mean, you know, if you're trying to be subtle, you don't do something like this. Or something like this. Now, this is a pale color, but once the light hits all of those sparkles, yeah, it's not so subtle. Now, it's not necessary for a person of a certain age to necessarily follow what the current fashion says. It really isn't. Fashion magazines are not the be-all and end-all of information on makeup or clothing or hairstyles. Yeah, my hawk has finally got long enough I can do a little pony in the back. I need to go get the rest of it trimmed back up and need to shave down again. You don't have to follow anybody else's rules. If you want to take something like this as a starting point because you want to do something subtle or something like this because you want to start with some neutrals and do something subtle and then you pick up one of your other palettes that looks like this You can do subtle colors, or you can go bright. You don't have to follow anybody else's rules. You can take subtle colors and then go bright. The little pop of color. Or you can stick to something that is very neutral, but still with some color in it. A little pop of color. You don't have to do just flat beige and brown. If that's the look you're going for, absolutely go for it. Do your beiges and browns if that's the look you're looking for. It's a classic. It's a classic for a reason. But beige and brown don't have to be boring. Beige and brown can be the basis 
for a really glamorous look. Just because you've achieved a certain age does not mean that anybody else can tell you whether or not you can wear color, whether or not you can wear glitter, whether or not you, quote unquote, are allowed to wear. That's up to you. If you like neutrals, or you're going for a neutral look because of the, the occasion calls for it, by all means, have that. But remember that if you want to throw some color in but still want to stay in a more quiet zone with what you're doing, you can go for subtle. This is orange. It's called orange creamsicle. Subtle. It's not an in-your-face orange. And it's got a little shine to it. If you're going for subtle, you may not want something that's really, really, really glittery. You may want something that's subtle. You may want something that's got a little shine. Just a little shine. Just a little shine. Now, this one can get really shiny if you really dip your finger in it or get a big brush because I use cream brushes on these if I want to go whole ham on it. I use cream blushes, brushes on these to lay down heavier coverage to change from subtle to glam. Neutral has its place. Subtle is another step. It's just a little zhuzh. And it's in between the neutrals and the glams. Beige and brown is not the only thing that works as subtle color. Give it a try. Drag your makeup out and play with it. If you've got neutral palettes laying around, go out and pick up some of the singles. Lots of the makeup comes in singles. You can pick up eyeshadow singles at just about any place that carries eyeshadow. Pick up a couple of subtles and a couple of not so subtles. If you want some glitter, pick up something with some sheen to it. It doesn't have to be pressed glitter. If you want a shimmer, have a shimmer. If somebody wants to tell you you're too old for a shimmer, tell them to back up. Expand it a little bit. If you like being subtle, 
if that is your thing, nobody's telling you you can't be. But I'm saying if you want to dress up that subtle look, those neutrals, a little bit now and then, go for it. Party on. Play. It's only makeup. If you don't like it once you're done, you can wash it off. Just don't let anybody else tell you to wash it off because it's not what they're used to seeing you in. Or what they think someone of your age ought to be wearing. Have fun. Be good.